Hello everyone, welcome back to another update video on Sherry Arbor's story, the light novel series that I'm currently working on, in particular volume 1, but I'll explain that more later. So, first of all, before I even get into the bullet points, I kinda messed up the recording for uh, the next character concept, so in a few seconds here I will show you that concept and then we'll start to discuss what's happening with Sherry Arbor's story as of late. So, in the background, I'd like to introduce the new character concept for Psycho Patricia, or Psycho Pa, as Joseph Nightflyer would call her. She is going to be one of the villains that plays a part in the background of Sherry Arbor's story, should I say, and is basically one of Joseph Nightflyer's long-form enemies. She's been around basically since, like, well, since he's been a hero, so yeah, just thought I'd say that real quick. I have no other bits to add here now. For now anyway, unless you want me to go back over the concept and start describing it, showing the different pictures and stuff. Because I did already record a video for it, like I usually would when I'm doing a concept uh, character reveal. But let's just say uh, I didn't properly record my mic. So yeah, that footage is now completely useless to me and I am crying on the inside. But hey, that's why I'm recording this update video now. To give myself an excuse to actually do something with Sherry Arbor's story today. So, moving on from that blunder, that's it actually, I just realised the first point on my little thing here says, Joe Snowflyer's enemy has finally got a concept. And honestly, it's just, it's weird to see. I have other things I'd like to say about the concept piece, but I don't think I'll mention them here. Again, if you want a video on that, I could do like maybe a different kind of one instead of a character concept reveal. It's more of like a character concept breakdown and we can go from there. I do know though that I need to remember to actually write a backstory for her. But I don't know if her backstory might be a bit too dark for Sherry Arbor's story. So I might have to just cut it out completely or just not mention her backstory whatsoever. Or at least mention her current role within Sherry Arbor's story when facing Joseph Nightflyer in the background. But anyway, I, I'm also glad to say that Revision 2 is finally underway. I know in the last update I talked about there being like the first revision and how that was done and how we went into revision like 1.1 and I think it even went into 1.2 briefly as well. But now I'm finally in revision 2 and I'm solely focusing on polishing up volume 1 as much as I can with the help of Grammarly, not sponsored. It's just I thought I'd have an app at least to tell me thing. I'm not gonna lie though, it's annoying when Grammarly tells me one thing and then the Word document tells me another thing about the same mistake. So I don't know who to trust, but you know what, I'll just go on intuition for that one. I'm also thinking of like how much more different sections the story needs for volume 1. Because I only had like the initial, okay here's like the table of contents, here's the chapters and here's the blurb. I never really had as much stuff as I do have in it now. And obviously I'm going to have to make sure to like add bits into that and polish that up as well. So volume 1 may take a bit of time, but it won't be as long as like rewriting the entire series. Because obviously revision 1 had to be done to make sure the story was coherent from volume 1 to 14, or at least coherent in my mind. And obviously as I already said, I'm just editing volume 1. Essentially as I said, like I'm going to just polish it up, and I think from there I'm going to have someone else read it them eh, then get opinions from them and obviously from there I'm gonna have to think about advertisements I'm gonna have to think about if I want to self-publish if I want to um, get a publisher to help me publish it uh, which I'm not gonna lie I'm kind of scared for because I really don't trust anyone to be given out like all the rights to story stuff because you know I've like as much as the story might not be the best in the world I've put so much time into the story and it'd be a shame if I just handed over the rights to story and it doesn't do well and they just keep the majority of the money because of a weird contract I sign, you know? Like I know for a fact if I can and if I can do it cheaply, I will probably get a lawyer to read over terms and conditions for any contracts that head my way, if they do head my way that is obviously. And uh, yeah, after that polishing up, hopefully then we'll look into like, you know, hopefully releasing it next year at some point, you know? That's the whole big thing now about this, it's like actually getting the story out there. Um, yeah, actually th there's nothing else to mention there, I just needed to go on that little rant real quick. So, um, all I'll say as well actually in regards to concept pieces is I was planning to do, not kinda like concept pieces, but more artwork uh, in relation to my channels and my Twitch and Sherry Arbor's story altogether, but I've decided to hold off for a bit 
because I've spent too much money this month, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I was like in Northern Ireland uh, Comic Con, which is why, so yeah. So for now, I think I'll hold off and get more art pieces, unless I can, because these art pieces I'm thinking of getting are actually extremely cheap because of the size of them. If I change my mind, I might get one or two of them done, but if I don't, then expect next month to have more art, but not exactly concepts. Which, again, I'd have to explain next month why it's like art and not concepts. So, Sherry Aubrey's, uh, whatchamacallit, first meme, the thing that introduced her into the world, that video in and upon itself has over 100 views. I think it's the one of the first, well, I say one of the first, it's one of the first non-short videos to hit over 100 views, and I'm just, I'm very thankful for that. Like, like it's easy for me to get caught up in like, oh, my best video on this channel has 50k views and this one has uh, a few thousand. It's like seeing Sherry Arbor's story have like hundreds of views on some of the shorts and obviously that one video as well. It's just, it's surreal. That's all I'm going to say. Like, I, I don't have anything else to comment on. I, I just, I just needed to add that in there. Because like when it comes to me and like viewership, YouTube means more to me than TikTok because like on TikTok, as um egotistical as this sounds, it's not that hard to hit 100 views on a TikTok if you know what you're doing. Like, if you look at my TikTok account right now, you'll see that, like, I'd say, like, at least the top few are, like, in the hundreds, and there might be one that's just under 100, but other than that, like, you know, not too difficult. Sorry, I, I really do sound like a horrible person. I I'm gonna just stop talking about it. The we don't need any stats or anything like that. We're here for Sherry Albert's story. Which, uh, speaking on that, the last thing I gotta say for today, for today's uh, update on Sherry Arbor's story, is the fact that the uh, Sherry Arbor story YouTube channel, I think I'm gonna start finally uploading to that channel soon. And obviously if you're seeing this channel, or this video on the channel in the future, hi. Make sure to subscribe to this channel now, not Joe's Night Flares Clips. Uh, because it's taken me a long time to, like, remove all the videos in the background and put them onto the, like, appropriate channels and whatnot. So... I might just have to, like, straight up just upload Sherry Arbor stuff and remove the old, like, the Night Flyer, Dark Night Flyer videos. Just to, like, actually get the channel finally in motion and to stop, like, worrying about uploading Sherry Arbor's story to this multitude of channels. It's like, oh, wait, am I putting it here, here? It's like, nah, Joe, we got the clips, like, the shorts. So you can put them on the Flyers, or Joe's Night Flyers clips. You can put it also on Sherry Arbor's channel. And at the same time, the actual Sherry Arbor story update videos and all the other bits in between, those can just be solely uploaded to Sherry Arbor's story's YouTube channel. And honestly, that's all I really need to say about that. It's just like, maybe, like, I might still upload this one to the Joe Snipe Flyers Clips channel. And then maybe, I think, like, if I do a psycho pack kind of, like, uh, summary video, I'll hopefully, like, after that, like well, maybe next month, I guess, at that point, start to finally, like, upload just to the actual Sherry Arbor story channel. But anyway, sorry for ranting a lot at the end there, and actually just sorry for ranting quite a bit in this update video. I know you're mostly here for, like, the update on Sherry Arbor story, the light novel series that I'm currently working on, where I'm only working on the first volume. It's a work in progress. I'm trying to change it up a bit. You know how I usually go, like, uh, welcome back to another update on Sherry Arbor's story, the light novel series that I'm currently working on. I want to try and, like, change it up a bit, because I feel like once we get into the stages of, like, publishing, then it's like, Hello, welcome back to Sherry Arbor's story, or an update on Sherry Arbor's story, the light novel series I'm trying to publish right now. <laughs> you know, something like that. But obviously that is if we reach that stage, which hopefully we will. But anyway. Thank you so much for listening to this video. Obviously, if you like this video, make sure to like it, comment, and subscribe if you want, whilst hitting the bell if you do so desire. And I shall see you in the next video in regards to Sherry Arbor's story.